Governor Hochul came here to Dunkirk today to emphasize how state government is helping Wells Manufacturing with their $425 million expansion of their ice cream manufacturing plant. It's a sweet deal, if you will, but again, government is helping. Applause, as you might expect, as the Empire State's chief executive took the platform this afternoon, really acknowledging an economic development project first announced in September of 2023. This major construction to be completed in phases by 2028 essentially doubles the footprint of the ice cream makers Dunkirk plant and quadruples their output for products under the Blue Bunny and Bomb Pop brands and under the overall corporate family umbrella of the massive Italy-based candy maker Ferrero Industries. Our company history now goes back 110 years and we have grown to be the largest privately uh, owned uh, ice cream manufacturer in the country. Four opportunities, you know, in the future. Uh, I still have my job, you know, and, you know, had progress all the way till retirement. <laughs> While this expansion is a major economic impact for the Southern Tier community, Wells, like most manufacturers, has had ups and downs in corporate fortunes and employment, actually reporting 183 layoffs just two years ago. So for the state's taxpayers supported roughly $18 million investment of tax incentives and grants, there are requirements. We don't give them an advance and hope that they hire someone. They don't get the money unless they've already hired them. So that's what we're focused on. Wells company officials also emphasize that there's going to be a specific chocolate manufacturing portion to this plant expansion that will allow them to be even more effective in terms of producing their product. Reporting on your side from Dunkirk in Chautauqua County, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.